Hi, it's Ethan Musolin, the Merchant of Success, your motivational speaker, human resource trainer, life, career, and business coach. In today's episode, I want us to talk about how to sustain and scale a business. And this is part four of a four-part series on how to sustain and scale a business. If you've not been following me, and this is just the first video you're watching, it's been a series of segments I've been doing on how to start, grow, and scale a business. So in this particular segment, we're talking about scaling a business, sustaining and scaling a business. And just to be clear, uh, this is a special series for Africa Entrepreneurship Award participants or applicants. If you're part of the family, congratulations. If you're uh, not yet part of the Africa Entrepreneurship Award family, please check it out. Go to africaentrepreneurshipaward.com, apply. It's an amazing, amazing platform and opportunity for you to start, grow, and scale a business. So let's talk about franchising. So when we say franchising, what we really mean is that you get your business, you put processes, systems, and everything. Then people buy your processes, your system, your, bra your brand. It's like a someone buys a business in a box, so to speak, and then they just give you royalties. There are particular terms attached. And according to the Entrepreneur Magazine, success rates for franchises are greater than 80% making this the lowest failure rate of any type of business. Here are facts about McDonald's, the world's largest franchise. It employs more than 1.8 million people, more than the population of Philadelphia, um, which is about 1.5 million as of the time of this recording. A lesson, it's a great team. It sells 75 hamburgers every second. Lesson, get more sales. 70 million daily customers are more than the population of France. Lesson, big market base. McDonald's spends about one, point, about $1 billion per year on direct media advertising. The lesson is great coverage. So why franchise? Number one is low capital. Unlike employees, franchisees pay to become part of your business and continue paying you part of their revenue. So it's not like you're paying employees, other, rather, rather than you paying, someone else is paying you, So which is really cool. Number two, there is an opportunity for faster expansion. The brand can quickly become, the brand can quickly become expanded nationwide and even worldwide if you're really quick and smart enough. The other key thing is reduced risk. The franchisee has all the responsibility for the investment in the franchise operation. So in other words, it's the franchisee who has all the risk, not you. It provides ease of supervision and administration. The franchisor is not, the franchisor, in this case you, is not responsible for the day-to-day -day management of individual franchise units. Your job is you just keep you know, checking them once in a white cannot be a daily thing. Here are some considerations when franchising. Number one, you need a franchise agreement in place. Why? Such that you're on the same page. Number two, you need a franchise disclosure document. Uh, this provides potential franchise, uh, this provides potential franchises with details about your company. So they know what your organization is all about and what they should or shouldn't do. Uh, what shouldn't what they shouldn't reveal out there experiment before you expand meaning take it one step at a time don't go in your inside your office cook up something and then boom you do a splash media uh, page and your marketing all over here come for franchises and then before you know it you're stuck and you don't know what to do so take it step by step let it be organic so at the end of the day you take to the world something that you've baked properly and you've tested in the kitchen and there's sample space enough for you to say, you know what, this is um, a successful idea. It is worth chasing or implementing. All right, so in terms of actioning, I want you to set at least two goals towards franchising. Write down daily or weekly actions to take towards achieving the above goals you would have set.
Now, please share what you're thinking and what you've learned in this particular segment. Uh, those are my contacts on the screen. You can find me at ethanmussolini.com in case you want to learn more or you can check me out on info at ethanmussolini.com or call plus 256-772-936361. And um, on different social media outlets and um, the same name, which is Ethan Mussolini, that's my Twitter handle, YouTube, uh, Facebook, um, LinkedIn, and also Instagram. I would also highly recommend that uh, for corporate trainings, in case you want to engage uh, my company to train your organization, whether it's customer service, leadership, communication skills, sales, and several others, you can go to success-africa.com. Oh, and by the way, if you are below the age of 40, I created a resource which you can find out at ethan at 40.com. This I, I created it recently uh, before turning the age of 40. Uh, so I share my top life and business lessons by the age of 40. So when you enter your first name and email, then you get an automated email. Once you confirm, every single day you get an email with a video sharing with you one of my top most life and business lessons to access. Uh, by the way, uh, in case you haven't uh, subscribed to my YouTube channel, I'll be releasing these videos uh, over on my YouTube channel. Go to uh, youtube.com forward slash user forward slash Ethan Mussolini. Subscribe to the channel and then I'll see you in the next videos.